Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. In light of the new controls changes and a lack of in-game tutorial currently, I'm going to teach you the basics of flight and controls in Star Citizen. I'm going to go over the controls on mouse and keyboard, but if you're using another control device like a HOTAS or a gamepad, just follow the same steps, but with the controls you've bound to that function and bind controls to that function if your device is one of the more odd ones. Firstly, I'll show you how to change these. So changing controls is really simple. Literally just go into options from the main menu. Start off with, if you go into control options, you'll be able to see for any given device um, how to set it for various tasks. So you'll be able to set the sensitivities here, but also whether it's inverted and that sort of jazz as well. You can select what device you are looking at by clicking on the left and right arrows as well at the top of the screen. So for example, if you went to uh, one of your HOTAS, uh, you could then set the sensitivity curves if you scroll down. So this is all important for HOTAS setup, which we will cover in a totally different video. But also there is key binding, so this is quite important. In key binding, you can literally see all of the different key binds, what they're set to um, for mouse and keyboard, or you can scroll along for a gamepad or joystick HOTAS. Um, you can also click Advanced C Controls Customization uh, to select whatever you want and bind it to whatever you want. Uh, there are quite a few controls here. You can also click on Control Profiles for any given device uh, and select a pre-made profile. There are quite a lot of pre-mades here uh, for, for a lot of the more common HOTAS and joysticks and gamepads and that sort of stuff. So see if your control device is there select a profile if you think it's appropriate and then feel free to change your controls as well right let's jump into free flight so let's go back to the main menu and then click on electronic access then click on arena commander drone sim and we're going to go to free flight just make sure you're on free flight game mode uh, and then you've got a choice between Dying Star and Broken Moon. We're going to go to Dying Star here, uh, where it says whatever ship that you've got there. You can select any other ships that you might have. We're going to stick with the uh, Aurora MR, but whatever you've got, bring whatever you fancy. I suggest a small one-person fighter, uh, and then click on Launch. Your ship will boot up, and then you'll be given control of it. Moving the mouse or stick will aim the nose of your ship. You'll notice if you're using a mouse, that a couple of annoying things will be there. Um, so firstly, there is uh, a difference between interactive and relative modes. So when you're using gimbaled weapons, um, although my weapons are actually fixed on the ship, um, the cursor, the, the reticle, is actually still a interactive cursor. So you can change and toggle interactive or gimbal lock mode, think of it like that, uh, with right alt and comma. Um, there's also another mode which joystick users and mouse users will have as well, which is look ahead mode. It's just when you turn from left to right or in any direction, your pilot will attempt to look slightly in that direction as they turn or just before they turn. Uh, you can turn this on and off with right alt or modifier 2 and M. It's all down to personal preference though, so whatever works for you. Right, let's start to fly. W will increase your throttle. S will decrease your throttle. Double tapping either of them will either max out or minimize your throttle. So in Star Citizen, momentum means that it will take time for your speeds to change. It is not instant. Uh, if you press X, that is a Newtonian space brake, which when you release, will uh, then allow you to go back up to your speed that you were currently at. Um, so just remember that that Newtonian space break will save your life. Fly around the station and some of the other obstacles. Um, just move around. You will also notice that A and D uh, will allow you to strafe left and right. Uh, and Q and E will roll your ship. Uh, just fly around the station fly in between uh, the various bits and bobs, the little arms and things in the station. Uh, it is a simulation, so don't worry if you damage yourself. Uh, you just want to fly around for a little bit, because it's worth doing. It's all about learning how your ship moves, the way it flies, and why it does that. Now, if you damaged yourself, or um, you became uh, inoperable as a ship, you can always 
always leave your ship or respawn. So if you have an ejection seat, you can press right alt and L, and that would eject you out of your ship. You can set self-destruct with right alt and backspace. Uh, and in the case of some of the ships that don't have an ejection seat, you will have to hold left alt and F to exit your chair. Now, in some of the ships, you'll notice that that's not enough time to leave. Hopefully this will be changed in the future, but remember, it's only a simulation. Right, let's respawn our ship and talk about landing. So landings are pretty damn simple. If you press N, you'll go from combat mode or normal flight mode into landing mode. You can then see within a certain distance, a uh, short distance, all of the landing pads available for you to land on. If you press U, that will cycle through all the landing pads. Select what landing pad you would like to land on and press F to request a landing. Fly closer to the landing pad. And if you press V while you are decelerating or not at max speed, you'll go into precision mode. Precision mode will cap your maximum speed so you don't do any giant movements basically. Uh, and also allows you to maneuver in a precise fashion. So what we're going to do is we're going to go as close to the landing pad as possible. Now, there are two different types of landing mode. We could manually land our ship by going over the pad and pressing control or we can automatically land by, while in landing mode, holding at right alt and N. We'll go into automated landing mode. And then all we need to do is landing get request. close Good. enough landing to the landing pad, deployed. press Engaging F autopilot. to request landing, and our ship should automatically land itself. Mode. Engaging. In landing this case, mode. though, we're going to press N and turn off automated landing, and we're going to land the ship ourselves by pressing control. Ooh. Gently. Landing gear Gently. You say landing gear deployed will appear on the bottom left. And eventually, if you edge down using landing. left control, you will eventually be told that you have landed safely. Uh, press Alt on the left and F. Hold that to exit your ship. To exit your ship, you'll need to press F on any doors that are not currently open. And then you'll be able to then walk out and assess your ship, any damage that might have occurred to it, uh, and your surrounding area while in your spacesuit. You can press F4 if you want to change your camera mode, so you can see yourself in the third person. We're now going to run off the landing pad. Now, the landing pads have artificial gravity on. Once you are far enough away, you will go into EVA mode. You can just fly around in EVA mode as if you are a spaceship, basically. But instead of keeping your current movement in any direction, you will need to press W, or uh, at least move in WASD, um, as it will send out jets of um, air or whatever else you've got in your, your jetpack uh, to move you around. And if you stop pressing, you will eventually come to a halt. Now, just fly around the pad once, or a little bit. And then once you're ready, once you feel okay with EVA, fly back to the pad. You can also take out your um, sidearm by pressing 1, and you can put that sidearm away by holding V. Let's come back to the landing pad. Just to make sure that you're aware that there is artificial gravity on the landing pads, and if you come in from too high a vector uh, or too fast and gravity takes hold, you may damage yourself. Right. Let's get back into our ship by pressing F on the door. I'm going to go back into first person mode by pressing F4 again. I'm going to interact with the staircase on my ship by pressing F. And then I'm going to get back into my ship by going up to the pilot seat and holding F. Taking off is probably the easiest thing to do in the game. Uh, after your ship has booted up, which will take a couple of seconds, uh, you just press space to edge off the platform. You'll be in precision mode that we talked about earlier, and once you are far enough away from the landing pad, you can press V to go into SCM mode. This will be your standard uh, mode of flight in most situations.
So, a couple of other kind of major notes. There's safety modes and coupling. Let's go through the safety modes first. In the bottom right of the middle of your reticle on your ship, you'll be able to see it says coupled, G-safe, comstab. So, the comstab and G-safe are safety modes for your ship, which you can turn on and off by pressing uh, left alt and V. You can see you can turn them one on, one off, or both on, effectively. Um, so G-safe stops you turning too fast so that you're less likely to black out. Whereas Comstab is more similar to a traction control. Uh, turning off will see you slide as you turn. On will have you kind of decelerate as you turn. They're both safety features and they are down to personal preference I set them differently for different ships. And you can still black out from any form of crazy maneuver that you might do, even with both Warning. safety modes on. You are approaching Let's move away from the boundary. limits of the simulation, otherwise we will die, um, and then we'd have to respawn. There's also coupled and decoupled mode. You're normally in coupled mode. When in de decoupled mode though, which you can toggle by pressing C, you basically keep the vector uh, and speed that you're going at in the given direction, but are able to turn and move freely. You can thrust in different directions as well with W, A, S and D, uh, and they act differently, effectively strafing you in that direction. This is great for combat maneuvers, uh, especially for, uh, for example, firing on someone that is on your tail but it has multiple purposes and for the purposes of this tutorial that's all you really need to know. Congratulations, you know the basics of flight and landing. If you would like to learn the basics of combat then please check out the video linked in the description below or on screen. Star Citizen 2.4 Basic Flight Combat. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe, tell me if you like any particular aspects of this video or tutorial, or don't like them I suppose, uh, you take care and I will see you in the verse.